what is up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more f1 2020 my team season three we are dominating this season as we look at the standings here recently we've increased the number of trophies that we have in our cabinet we have second place second place second place second place so four second places and two first place trophies of course many of the uh, other trophies that we got uh, are secured by Max Verstappen himself. We are heading on into the French Grand Prix today. So before we do anything, let's head on into the R&D screen. We got 2,652 resource points to our name, which should be enough for one ultimate or maybe triggering this other major upgrade in the powertrain department. So I think I will do that because I think our powertrain has suffered a little um, in recent days of course um yeah let's do this standard because it'll still arrive before the grand prix weekend taking a look at our r d screen we see that our two major upgrades have successfully come into the car ready for the french grand prix which is a good sight to see i think our aerodynamic upgrade also came in so that is another boost to our car um, right now, I don't think we have enough funds to start any upgrades. 1900 for the durability, so we're just under the required... Oh wait, we do have enough resource points for a powertrain department upgrade, so I think we will try fuel injection system or rotors. Seems like fuel efficiency will have a higher impact on the car, so let's just develop this standard in time for the following Grand Prix after the next so I think the British Grand Prix so just before that sure let's do that get the powertrain going as well uh, otherwise I think we are all set I'm gonna save up some money just in case we run out uh, before contract renegotiations with Max Verstappen so let's just head on into the race weekend into France uh, I'm gonna do the practice programs as always and then I'll see you guys afterwards for qualification Welcome to qualifying of the French Grand Prix. We are heading on into the first round of qualifying with heavy rain. I think it's going to be raining all weekend, but we will try our best with the car that we have. Um, practice was overall very good. Car setup was also feeling good. So I think we are ready to set in some good laps in France. So let's see. I think I just go out right now. So yeah, it is going to be heavy rain for the whole session, so let's head out, set a lap, and see where we end up. First lap of Q1 is going to be a 142.4, which sees us in P3. Uh, Kvyat just comes out in front of us, so I think I'm going to go back to the garage, see where we lie, and then see if we need to do another run. All right, our second lap of Q1 is approximately a second faster than what we had earlier. So let's see, let's cross the line here at P2, 141.3. Okay, that should be good enough to see us into Q2. Indeed, it is good enough. We set P1 and P2 respectively. Knocked out of Q1 are Grosjean, Latifi, Magnussen, Schumacher, De Vries, and Albon. Let's head on into Q2. All right, coming in for lap one of Q2. If you have a good feeling, we might be pull here or you're closer to the top end here. Yep, we are just behind Max Verstappen again. He seems to be three tenths faster than us every single time. So here we go. Back into the garage. I think we should be clear to go into Q3. Let's take a look and then see if we need to do another lap here. We did not need to do another lap and I don't think I had enough time after our first lap to do another one but we just sit behind Max Verstappen, three tenths of a gap between us of course. Knocked out of Q2 are Giovinazzi, Aiken, Russell, Norris, Stroll and Ocon. So we're heading on into Q3, let's see how far up the grid we can place ourselves. Here we go, first lap of Q3, let's see where we place ourselves, I think 141, okay 141.2 is to beat, we are slower than that, we see ourselves in P2 right now, not the best result, but let's see if we can do one more lap here on these used enters and see if we can get a better score. Alright, second lap of Q3 is approximately 4 tenths faster, 
Uh, let's see where that places us. P3, we're not good enough. We're not as good as Hamilton. It's a bad sign. I don't think I have enough fuel for one more lap, so I think we have to firm it and then start P3 if we can keep it. So we end up in P3. Max Verstappen gets P1. Our rival Lewis Hamilton splits us apart between Verstappen and myself. So we will start at P3, but the race itself is going to be dry, so we can really push on the dry conditions. So I'm hoping to overtake Hamilton and maybe even Verstappen before the first turn and then securing the race victory. So let's head on into the race weekend and see what we can do in the race itself. Here we are once more at the Le Castellet circuit for another round of this year's Formula One World Championship. Renault took their first French Grand Prix win all the way back in the inaugural race in 1906, but it was another 73 years before they could take their second. So they'll be pushing hard to delight the local fans here today. Six lefts and nine rights give us a total of 15 corners here at the circuit Paul Ricard, and a lap covers an overall distance of 3.6 miles. Average speeds will be somewhere in the region of 142 miles per hour and they'll be maxing out on the Mistral Strait at around 205 miles per hour. With the Grand Prix nearly upon us, Anthony Davidson is by my side once again to offer his perspective. Can we begin by having a chat about Sergio Perez? Looks like they've got a tough race in store today as grid penalties from changing power unit components has forced them further down the field. But on the bright side, at least those fresh components can help them maintain the power they need to come through the pack. I expect to see them take a more aggressive approach today to make up for the compromised start. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Lucky, Ricardo, Pierre Gasly and Bottas, Sainz, Leclerc, Fiat and Esteban Ocon, Stroll, Norris, George Russell and Aitken, Giovinazzi, Albon, Nick de Vries and Mick Schumacher, Perez, Magnussen, Latifi and Roman Grosjean sits at the back of the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Indeed, we will try for another top 10 finish. We'll try for another podium today. Um, if you guys take a look here, we are expecting some rain later on in the end of the Grand Prix typical Sioux race strategy style. We will adjust to that accordingly. Uh, it seems like we cannot... Okay, we're going to add a stint and see if we can... Okay, we can adjust to start on the soft compound tire. We're going to go on to the mediums and then try to expand that as much as we can. And then we will switch on to the um, wet later on in the Grand Prix. I think we will be able to do it because we managed to drive 20 laps on medium compounded tires. So we will try to extend that as far as possible and we'll start on the softs. So we should be able to adjust to that. Um, that's going to be our race strategy and we will drop our fuel load to approximately 26 uh, laps of fuel. Exactly 50 kilograms. That is perfect. We're all set for the Grand Prix, so let's head on in. Hopefully we can secure another podium, if not P1. Max Verstappen up ahead. Richfield makes sure five red lights, and off we go. Great start from us. I think we can go past Max Verstappen. Nice. We are in P1 right now. Let's see if we can keep it going. Oh, we collided with Max Verstappen. Collision with Hamilton. I don't know what was happening, but... We are pulling away from the pact. All right, here we go. Good start to the Grand Prix. We're in P1, pulling away from Hamilton. Oh God, I took a exceeding track limits warning there. That's fine. Could have avoided that. I was too busy looking at the deltas up ahead on the left. Ooh, took that turn kind of harshly, but here we go. Keep pushing, keep pushing. I am exceeding these track limits or pushing the limits of the tracks here. I should be more careful and concentrate more on the turns. Oh, 
Alright, another exceeding track limits warning. It's bad. Yep, I know. No more mistakes now. The panic of lap 1 is making me make all these mistakes. Alright, here we go. Punch it. We are still ahead of uh, Lewis Hamilton, of course, on the solid compound tires. Um, 35, 135. That is impressive, if you say so. I keep getting that turn wrong. I need to pa fix it up quick. Ooh, another lap down. This time, I don't think... Can we challenge the best lap? Maybe we can. Oh, yes, we do. But Max Verstappen steals it from us. Ooh, Lewis Hamilton coming on the attack here. To our left. What a run from him. But I think we can outbreak him here. Oh god. Collision with Hamilton. Kind of drove into him. Oops. My bad. Okay, Max Verstappen is behind us. So he is pr providing us some protection from Lewis Hamilton right now. Let's take advantage of that. Ooh, Max Verstappen on the attack now. Trying to overtake us on our right. We'll try to provide a little squeeze. I'll break him here. And keep P1. Extended a little bit there, but I don't know if it didn't count. Good. Still maintain P1. It's the fight of the Sioux Motorsport boys right now. Ooh, Max Verstappen is right on my gearbox. Dang. I'm gonna provide him with a little toe with the slipstream. Ooh, Max Verstappen going around the outside here. We will follow him. We will provide him with some protection from Hamilton. Ooh, Hamilton provide him with a little squeeze out on the track. But we can outbreak him here. Boom. Well defended. Well defended on that chicane. Squoze him out of there. Max Verstappen is still approximately a second ahead of us. That's good. I think Max Verstappen can uh, maintain his lead. So we should be in a good chance of getting 1-2. Let's just hope my tire strategy works out to like our benefit. I am praying the rain clouds come around lap 20. Because that would be ideal to our strategy. I mean, I mean, even though I can use the soft compound tires at the end of the race. But we'll see. I am putting a huge bet on rain uh, in, this, in this Grand Prix. So let's hope. Max Verstappen is two seconds in. Alright, good, good, good. 15 minutes is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Alright, we are boxing now for our medium compound tires. Going into lean as we enter the pit lane. Uh, we are going to go medium and then let's see if 15 minutes later we will see rain. Then we will move on to inters or like wet. It's going to be a very dicey situation of course, so let's hope for the best here. Come on boys, give us a fast pit stop please. You've given us poor, oh god, another 3 second. We need to fire these guys. Get me a new pit crew in there. Train them or something like. They've been eating KFC every weekend or something. All right, we're already catching up to Latifi as we finish our first like warm up lap for these tires. We are two seconds, two and a half seconds behind Latifi. So let's see if we can quickly catch them, overtake them. That turn, I gotta patch that up somehow. Gotta work that out. All right, we're right behind Latifi as we come into the start finish straight for lap 10. Uh, let's see if we can catch them soon. I need to I need to catch them, overtake, get out of this dirty air, and hopefully push for a higher track position as a lot of cars decide to pit for the first pit stop. Rich, overtake, and DRS, slipstream of Latifi as well. Outbreak them here. Ooh, side by side as we enter this chicane. Still managed to see it through. Okay, Latifi overtake and Grosjean next. Slipstream as well, overtake. Okay, we got him. Thought I took wing damage there because we collided for a moment. 
should, I mean, I probably have shark bites in front of our wing right now. But that is minimal damage compared to losing a wing. Alright, Magnuson's next. We got a row of cars up ahead. I think there's a Ferrari Alfa Romeo in there as well. Let's try and push here. Alright, Magnuson is giving us DRS probably. So we can overtake everyone rich. Overtake, DRS engaged. Slipstream on Magnuson as we approach. Nice. Alright, DeVries is next. I think we can get him here as well. Rich, overtake. Let's try to get this job done as well, as quickly as we can. Let's go. Ooh, side by side with DeVries. But we managed to stick the move there. Perez next with Giovinazzi up ahead of him. Nearly rear-ending Perez, but that's fine. Let's keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. I think we can make the move stick here. Overtake, Rich, DRS as well. Let's keep going. Let's try to get closer to Perez and Giovinazzi here. We got the slipstream-ish off of Perez. Oh, Perez going for a move on Giovinazzi. I'm going to pull back a bit. Don't want to get tussled. Oh, God. Nearly rear-ended Giovinazzi, but that's fine. Let's go. Perez got the move done on Giovinazzi, so I got to catch Giovinazzi quick. Try to overtake him and then catch up with Perez. All right, we got DRS and... Rich overtake engage. Let's try to catch Giovinazzi because I want to stay within attacking range of Perez. Can we make this stick? Yes, we can. All right, let's try to get away from Giovinazzi. There we go. Move done. Next up is Perez up ahead. All right, Perez pits as well. Let's look at a tire wear situation. 28%. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, we are overheating the tires because we've been pushing, so we've got to gotta keep it lean and light on the tires now. Keep give them a little time to cool down. Verstappen is up ahead, we're in P2 now, everyone pits and everything has gone back to normal. We're in P2 right behind Max Verstappen, but the question is when is the rain coming? Because if the rain comes soon, I'm going to dip in early and try to swap for intermediates. But so far, so good. Let's look at our tire temps. They're slowly dropping. Good. Alright, is this a fastest lap? Possibly. Let's take a look. It is the fastest lap. 131.4. Nice. Tire is looking okay. 40%. The rain clouds look like they're getting dangerous. So I think it might be raining quite soon. Weather report. Dry seem like the best tire for now. Okay, so he didn't say anything about rain. So I think rain is like imminent. Or maybe it's even falling. I don't see any raindrops on my screen just yet but perhaps in the next couple moments we'll see rain just drop on the screen because it's looking super bad right now oh first droplets of rain are coming from the sky right now look at that just as my tires are going to wear out and just in time for my pit stop for softs we see rain dropping uh dries are still the best tire right now according to jeff uh, Daniel Ricardo is just behind me because my mediums seem to be out of their optimum range but the hards are probably in their optimum range right now so that is why he is so close to me right now. A new strategy is available oh. on the MFD. Okay. Yep, it is time for intermediates. Okay, Max for 7 in the pits. Let's hope he's out of there quick. We're staying out because it is not time yet I think. DRS is still enabled. So I think the FIA is still thinking it is time. Uh oh, DRS is now disabled. Oh god, yep, yep, my tires are going. I'm on drive on ice now. Yep, we gotta nurse our car to the pit lane as soon as we can. 
Yep, I got minimum traction on this on this car. A lot of wheel spin. Not a lot I can do right now. Come on, come on. The pit lane can't come fast enough, man. It needs to come f quicker. Come on, I need my intermediate tires, man. Yep, the car slides like it's on ice or something. I should not be driving on medium compound tires. Yep, lost the back end there. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Kvyat is right on my tail now. Our pit boys need to give us a good, good service. Here we go. Into the pit lanes for our medium compound tires. Come on, Max Verstappen is going to overtake us now. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Can we come out around the time of other drivers who are already on intermediates like Bottas? I saw Bottas was right behind us. Oh, there goes Bottas. No, there goes Ricardo. Ricardo just went past us. 2.8 seconds. Okay. Come on, come on. We got to get close to Ricardo. We got seven laps to catch him. Oh god, we're now down to 5th. Alright, we gotta catch Gasly and Bottas to get into the podiums. I got shafted by King by being kept out on the track for another lap. But let's rectify the situation. Sometimes life gives you lemons. We're gonna ask a tequila shot for it. Oh, K-Mag is out of the race. VSC is out, okay. Let's get close to Gasly. Alright, green flag running. Ooh, there's a yellow flag. Why? What's happening there? Oh, is that where Magnuson was, I guess? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright, Pierre Gasly is just ahead of us. Come on, we gotta make this move stick. It's lap 22 of 27. Come on now. All right, yeah, that, I'll take it, I'll take that. Next up is Bottas, we're in P4 now. Overtook Gasly, no wing damage. We need to push on Bottas, we need to try and get him. We're getting closer to Bottas here, 0.8 second delta. We're gonna press and press until we get to a start finish straight. I think we can overtake him there. We're gonna set something up for the next couple turns. Or maybe even here. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Rich overtake. Oh, I got the move done. I got the move done. I got the move done. Yes. Ooh. Okay, we're going back to standard and overtake. We got P3. I think P3 is the uh, optimum spot we can find ourselves in. Rain is getting harder. I don't know if we're going to move on to wet soon, so... Hopefully the conditions don't get too slippery because the Grand Prix is about to end anyway. Let's see how close to Ricardo we can get. Alright, final lap of the Grand Prix. I think we gotta settle for P3 here. Max Verstappen got lucky with his um, pit stop. If we were in with Max Verstappen, I think we could have solidly taken second place. But sadly, we got handed the short end of the stick. Alright, yeah, conditions are not good for intermediates. It is time for wets. So we gotta try and nurse this P3. Bottas is right behind us. So we gotta try and protect ourselves against them. Oh. Bottas nearly stole it off of us, but we keep it going to the finish line. Whew. Hard fought P3. P3 for us. Let's go. Top job, my friend. Top job. I was a bit worried about this one at the start of the weekend, but you've pulled through. Thank you. Another superb French Grand Prix comes to an end, and it's a thoroughly deserved victory.
Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, I know it's a bit of a boring answer, but the truth is they simply had the best speed package on the day, and a driver who knows how to take advantage of that. It doesn't matter how much time you spend poring over the stats and planning strategies if you can't keep the pace, and our winner today showed they could do both. Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way out onto the podium. Another double podium for Sue Motorsport. Sadly, I could not get P2. I should have pitted with Verstappen, double stacked, and I think we would have been able to put pressure on Ricardo. But sadly, it is what it is. We settled for P3, which was a hard fought P3. Here we go with the results of the Grand Prix. Max Verstappen, Ricardo, and myself get the top three podium positions. We also get fastest now, so we get an additional point. Bottas, Gasly, Leclerc, Russell, Kvyat, Sainz, Hamilton round out the rest of the top 10 points positions. Ocon, Norris, Stroll, Schumacher, Aiken, Perez, Albon, De Vries, Giovinazzi, Grosjean, and Latifi round out the rest of the points positions with the Haas of Kevin Magnussen not finishing the race. Uh, no safety cars. Uh, we did have a virtual safety car though throughout the whole race and we had that bizarre weather change at the end of the Grand Prix. Standings wise, Max Verstappen extends his lead. He's now 29 points ahead of me, 184 points, and I'm on 155. Bottas is on 94, and Leclerc is on 88, so we are still a ways away from P3. So hopefully, we can keep up the podium finishes to keep pushing and fighting amongst ourselves for the driver standing. Constructor standing wise, we are still top, 339 points. We are miles ahead of Mercedes. 176 points away uh, on 163. Ferrari is in P3 and Red Bull in P4. So the tussle for midfield is still very strong right now. And I think it's going to develop into an interesting scenario later on in the season. Of course, we're still in the first half with the French Grand Prix being the 10th Grand Prix of the season. So what a race it was. We had a bizarre weather condition throughout the whole race weekend. We had sunny practice sessions and then we had a pouring rain qualifying and then we had a stunning like happy sunshine start to the Grand Prix. We had a stunning start of course overtaking Hamilton and uh, Verstappen before the first turn and then we capitalized on that. Then we let Max Verstappen get through as our soft compound tires were out and then we defended against Hamilton uh, giving Max Verstappen the breathing room to extend his lead which was crucial in, con uh, in getting his victory I believe. We also had a moment of shock with the race strategy. Um, we went from soft to mediums and then I tried to extend the mediums as far as I could but then the hard compound tire runners caught up with me because the hard compound tire entered their optimum stage as my mediums tires start to die out preparing for the final stint of the race of course hit with a lot of rain clouds and rain. Uh, I should have pitted with Max Verstappen but my decision to stay out and Jeff's orders to stay out has really cost us there because I think it cost us a couple seconds uh, in that lab trying to nurse the car into the pit lane. But afterwards, uh, having that shocker, we were able to overtake Gasly and then we ov also overtook Bottas to secure P3, which is a very important position for us because the distance between P3 and P4, the points are completely different. So it was a good race overall. I think we had a solid race strategy and a solid race performance. So until the next Grand Prix, which will be race 11, I hope you guys stay safe. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe using the red button down below and hit the notification bell next to so you're notified when the next F1 2020 My Team Season 3 video goes up live on my channel. I'm trying to post these daily right now, trying to pump out Season 3. So until the next Grand Prix, which will be exciting, please stay safe and take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time. Love again,